Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Eric Roberts. Today I'm talking about setting up killer audio for your OBS live stream. And the thing is, you have to do all of this before you even get over to OBS. Now I've been, uh, I was ripping my hair out with OBS, trying to use the audio inside and the engine and all that, and I realized, hey, I've been on mixing consoles my whole life, so I went and I found this mixing console, Yamaha MG10XU, and I said, let's plug in some really good mics, let's do some uh, really good audio loop in some stuff, do some reaction audio in there, and then I can put all of that right into OBS. So that is what I think you should do if you want it to be awesome without finagle waggling around with your computer all the time. So let's do it. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need is just a simple mixing console that has a USB or not, but I like this one, it has a USB interface in it. And why I like that is because you can take this USB out into your computer and it acts like a sound card, only a really powerful, awesome sound card with this console uh, has compression on your first two channels, so you can get really good audio. This channel has three band EQ, Okay, so you can EQ your voice, and it has effects. So if you're a vocalist, singer, you wanna add in some cool effects. I know a lot of podcasters are like, who cares? It has a cool robot sound, that's cool. It has like a sound, that's kinda of cool. But really, for me, I just want a little bit of reverb when I'm doing my guitar licks and stuff like that. Uh, if you're gaming, if you're doing anything like that, you need or reaction videos where you need the audio off your computer, you can just literally, on this console, it comes right out of your USB. It works like the out of your computer. Or what I do on my Mackie is I just take it out of my headphone on my computer, put it in here, and I use it, and I mix it all together in my headphones as I'm doing my live stream. I'm mixing. I'm like DJing for myself. Think about that. You're like your own DJ. And you can do that with one of these simple mixers. Now, I use the Mackie Pro FX10 version three and it's over there. Okay, that's the one over there, I'll show it to you. That's the one I'm using right now. Uh, that's over. This is a good board, a lot of people love this board. I just like the Mackie, Mackie a little better. And you can check, uh, I'll try to put the card up here for the review that I did. I really do think that the Mackie uh, stomps the Yamaha, but I really like the Yamaha too. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's actually pretty. I wish that it worked a little bit better for what I want to do. But it's a great mixer. Uh, you can put some inputs into it. You can go right into OBS. Now, in OBS, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to select your audio input. And you're going to select this as your audio input. Okay, make sure you go into your advanced settings and click mono so that you get both channels have the same thing. So there's some audio settings you do there. And then with this mixer, what I found was the output level was just not hot enough for me. So I would go in and add a filter, an audio filter in OBS to gain it up by 10 or 12 dB. Okay, so that then I, then I was getting a, a good signal. You want that OBS signal to be right up almost to the red, you know, touching the red. That's where you want it. If it gets way above that, it's not good. If it's too low, it's not good. You wanna have a really good strong audio signal and in order to get that with some of these mixers, I've noticed you have to gain up in OBS. Reading about this mixer, I figured that the output on the USB was about negative 15 by the manufacturer. I don't know why. That's one reason this is going back and I'm using the ProFX Mackie. I'm gonna put those links in this description. Uh, I, you can check out my other videos. I show you how to hook up the microphones. You can, do, you, you can use really nice mics. You can use any input you want, use effects, and then all you gotta do is take the output, either USB or just take your headphone output, like and plug it out, out of this into your computer, and that is your overall signal. So just imagine that all of this awesomeness is one signal going into OBS. It's all pre-mixed, it's all done for you, and you don't have to mess with anything on the computer side. I really think it's a great solution for you if you want flexibility in your audio, and it's very simple to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. God bless you. Will you subscribe to the channel and uh, consider just coming back, checking out the videos, share this with your friends. I'll see you on the next video.